Time for another event, this time with Plan B. Though minor, I did make some changes since its last competition. I had new blades made for going against vertical spinners out of AR600, hopefully meaning that they won't turn into a banana like the last one did. I also got some softer 40A wheels that'll hopefully do a better job of absorbing shock compared to the 60A ones. Finally, I also designed and printed some new rear guards. These are mainly to stop my robot from doing the thing, but they also act as additional armor. I was hoping to make it to this year's Hobby Expo in Monroe again, but life got in the way. Thankfully, there was another Crimson Bot Brawl at WSU the following week that I was able to attend. Though the turnout wasn't as high as past events, the local competitors had really stepped up their game, so I couldn't afford to make any mistakes. Footage of the tournament is from Crimson Robotics, and a link to the full event will be posted in the description. My first match was against Seasoning, a four-wheel drive egg beater. Though the new blades were meant more for traditional verts, I figured this would be just as good of a test as any. Fight! Oh Huge my Huge box goodness. drive from Seasoning. It's seasoning getting right into it. That looks like Plan B struggling to get B's. up to speed here. Seasoning having a little bit of drive issue. Oh my goodness. Huge collision there, and is that and a belt off of if... Seasoning? Seasoning has already been a little a little bit of a ACL tear there for Seasoning, and parts are flying already. Yeah, looks like Seasoning's weapon is down, and I don't think it's coming back, but Plan B is embedded in the wall. The horizontal spinner gets locked into the wood. <laughs> when your weapon doesn't work, just start shoving it. Yeah, absolute great As demonstration of control there by Seasoning, and that might be that We match. still got movement, and we're not quite Down sure. Well, and that's the match the judge has called it. We're going to call the, the refs have called it. Congratulations, Seasoning. Okay, so a lot went wrong there. I realized right before the match started that I had wired my drive backwards, so I kept that in mind right as the fight started. However, I didn't notice that my bot had been flipped upside down on the first hit, so I was confused as to which direction was which. On top of that, one of the drive motors died pretty quickly. I was using motors from Stingray for this fight, which were perfectly fine the last time I ran them, but I guess I must have missed something. I don't know what signs there would have been though. Getting stuck in the arena is definitely on me though. I saw Plan B going towards the wall and should have spun the weapon down, but I kept it pinned at full throttle and paid the price. I think I thought the kick plates were made from harder stuff, like the kind used at Utah Combat Robotics, but either way I was down to the loser's bracket. Here I would be facing Trulian, a dual disc vertical spinner. I swapped out the bad drive motor, made sure the wiring was correct, and sent it in the arena. Fight. Oh my god! And Trillian is sent flying as Plan B gets launched as well. It is an absolute war coming out of the gate, and there are sparks flying, and Trillian loses the battery again, and Plan B is going to knock out Trillian. The robot was driving much better now, allowing me to place shots where I wanted. With that said, the next match would be less about precise driving and more about durability. This is because I was against Clubs, a very solid horizontal spinner. Their blade had slightly less reach than mine, but was also thicker and spun faster, so I wouldn't say either of us had a clear advantage. I swapped my other build of Plan B with harder wheels and a symmetrical blade for this fight. And fight! And we see both weapons spinning up pretty fast. Now that's what I was talking about earlier, about a horizontal weapon on a horizontal weapon. You're gonna see some sparks fly. Now, as you can see, these weapons are taking a beating. Oh, plan B on the side for a second, but as you can see, both these bots can get flipped over and they will be able to drive still. Club's getting a little bit into plan B's wheels. Ooh, big hit, and it looks like Plan B got stuck in the wall for a second, but luckily was able to get right back out. And <laughs> look at that wood chips fly, wood chips and sparks. <laughs> Ooh, another big hit. It's going to be a weapon battle of endurance here. Both teams are holding up pretty well. No major parts seem to be flying off just yet.
Sparks after Sparks. Ooh, plan B hitting the side of clubs, causing it to spin a little. Looks like they're both at the perfect height to where the weapons just line up. Oh, it looks like Plan B's uh, left wheel is currently not moving, but they're still able to move around. Oh, big hit, flipping both bots. You can see the wear and tear off Club's uh, armor there. Got some divots from Plan B's weapon. You don't oh, know, it looks like end. Club's weapon is not spinning at the moment. It's going to be a race to the finish. And that's time. Those boss put up a pretty good fight. I still have no idea how that match went the full three minutes. It did though, which meant the judges decided the victor. It was extremely close and they asked to see both robots up close to assess damage. By a split decision, Plan B just came out on top. This easily could have gone either way, but I think that the weapon of clubs going down in the last 15 seconds was just enough to swing it in my favor. No time to celebrate though, as my next match was against Spinnator, a Melty Brain. I would have liked to use the same setup, but the damaged wheels had seemingly welded themselves onto the hubs. With time running out, I ended up going with the version that was meant for verts. Fight! Plan B, going at it early against Spinnator. Spinnator having some trouble getting it's spinning here. Spinning. Slowly gathering velocity. A little bit of damage already, as it was called before, the top of Spinnator. Seeing a lot of damage already. And Plan B asking Spinnator if he wants him to continue. Almost taunting Spinnator. As he's giving Spinnator a nice little fade. Just a bit off the top. Nice and Spinnator is receiving a countdown, and that's going to be a tap out by Spinnator. And Plan B is now mocking Spinnator. I knew I had to get hits in before Spinnator got up to speed. Thankfully, my blade was high enough to avoid contact with theirs, and I was able to land hits on their frame and wheels. Everything seemed to be running great, so aside from charging the battery, I didn't make any changes for my next match against Diamonds. This was another egg beater, but I had learned my lesson from earlier and was prepared to better control my weapon. Fight! Plan B pushed all the way over into Diamond's corner. Diamond's is getting some revenge. Looks like Diamond's may have lost their weapon, but Plan B is still ready to go. Diamonds has pinned plan B into the corner, trying to get those control points. Plan B trying to get free here, and the referee counts down the pin. That will count towards Diamonds' overall score. Huge pin for Diamonds, big for it's control like, time. Looks like plan B may have lost a drive in one of their oh, wheels. Wood flying everywhere. The real loser here seems to be the wall. Trade and paint. Plan B trying to line up a shot oh, with only one wow. wheel. Some serious... Diamonds absolutely loses the tee. Oh my goodness. The weapon is purely optional for Diamonds. Oh! And that is some sheared aluminum. Diamonds unafraid. He's got nothing to lose. Only more pieces.
the crowd urging for slaughter. Oh, some good control there from Diamonds, weapon or not. Benjamin Bowen behind the driver of Diamonds and showing absolutely zero fear here. Oh, we're still going. It looks like Plan we still B have a lot of does time not left. have controlled movement. It looks like Plan B is stuck. Plan B is jammed. It looks like Diamonds might escape with a win here. It seems that way. So what happened to the drive this time? Well, to start, the other motor I used from Stingray had its gearbox lock up. Then on the other side, one of the screws attaching the motor to the mounting plate came loose. It jammed the wheel such that it could move forward, but not backwards, leaving me stuck against the wall. I could have sworn I put Loctite on those things, but regardless, Plan B was out of the competition. While I feel my bot could have done a lot better, it still put up a solid performance. With that said, there are definitely changes in order. I thought the softer wheels would do a better job of absorbing shock to the motors, but I'll need to look into other ways of doing that. Speaking of which, something needs to be done about the wheels themselves. The Banebot's T81s I use do a great job of taking hits, but after getting damaged they can be impossible to remove. I might add a little bit of clearance to the inner wheels to try and negate this issue, or I might switch to T61 wheels and use the extra weight for wheel guards. I might even try and make my own wheels, since that seems to be all the rage. If you have any suggestions, be sure to let me know in the comments.